Oh. Oh, we're hooked up. What is up, guys? What's going on? Welcome back to another very exciting episode of Backpack Outdoors and, and a highly requested kayak fishing video. Now, I don't know why it's like considered highly requested because I've been fishing out of this kayak a lot as of recent. But anyways, today, look, we're taking the Bonafide, okay? We're taking the Bonafide and we're going to fish in some salt water, right? This will be the first time, I don't know if this will be the first time this kayak's been in salt water, but it will be the first time that I have been in this kayak in salt water. So that I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to. I'm gonna stop by the local bait shop. I'm gonna get some, some live shrimp, maybe some pilchard or something like that. I, I don't know, for sure live shrimp though, if they have it. Uh, because basically everything in the ocean eats live fish or uh, everything in the ocean eats live shrimp so with all of that being said guys listen if you're new here to the channel and this is your very first video you're ever seeing go ahead and take your thumbs left or the right it doesn't matter and thumb punch that bright red subscribe button all right turn that notification bell on that way you can be notified every single time i upload a video because i upload bangers all right so before we head out i'm headed to the gym really quick I'm gonna get my workout in before we go fishing. But uh, today's question of the day. Okay, check it out. If you're new here to this channel, the question of the day, something I like to do before I start every single video, I ask a question, you answer in the comments. I also answer in the comments. We talk back and forth, you ask questions and, and whatnot. It's, it's a really good time. It's a grand old time. You should try it. Anyways, today's question of the day is, I want everybody to answer this one, Every everybody. What is the very first video of mine that you ever saw? If you can remember, if you can remember, just let me know, drop that comment below. And uh, the very first video of mine that I ever saw was the very first video that I ever posted. Gotcha. I'm kidding. I'll, uh, I'll drop something down below in the comments as well. Like I'll drop a random answer to a random question that, uh, that I get a lot of as of recently. But anyways, listen, we're going to the gym guys. Going to put this in the, in the salt water. I'm not going to bring this camera with me because I'm not comfortable taking this nice camera on this kayak right now into the ocean. Not the ocean. The, where I'm going is like three foot deep. So, <laughs> But definitely not taking this camera. So I'm going to leave this here at home. And uh, we'll see you guys on the water. Ladies and gents, we're done. We got the pump going on. We just left the gym. The gym is right here behind you. Say hey, Jim. All right. Now that we got the most important part of the day over with, it is time to go to the bait shop. It is time to go get some shrimpies. See you guys at the bait shop. All right, ladies and gents, we're here. Check it out. We're about to put the kayak in right there. But we have a dilemma, okay? We have a dilemma. There, I stopped at three bait shops and none of them had live anything. So, what is your next option when you don't have live bait to fish shallow salt water? DOA shrimp. Now, what does DOA stand for? I don't know, I couldn't tell you, but these are the shrimp that I'm gonna be using. So normally, if you ask the guys in the bait shop, you know, them guys are them old heads. They know what they're talking about, right? So I asked them, I said, hey, you ain't got no live bait. You ain't got no, like, dead frozen shrimp, anything like that. So, which is, it's obvious. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. All that stuff was bought up this morning. I should have came out here earlier. Hey, it is what it is, you know? Anyways, I said, what are the best color DOA shrimps to use for this time of day and the tide and all this and that? And he told me these colors right here like a root beer color and like a cream soda with some sparkle in it so that is going to be what we use let me go ahead and get everything unloaded um so i watched a video the other day i, I you know i was that guy until i watched this video I, did, I never put much thought into it but chad hoover from kayak bass fishing said don't hog the boat ramp when you're getting your kayak ready you know it's not crowded right now but could people pull up with boats that want to fish yeah whatever you know don't be that guy at the boat ramp. So I'm gonna get my stuff ready right here, and then I'm gonna take my kayak down there, put it in the water, like tied up, and then I'm gonna park the truck. So Chad, thanks for the, the tips and tricks. I appreciate that. That I was that guy until I watched your video. Anyways, let me get all that loaded up, and I'll see you guys on the water. And we're off. Let me get this out of the... All right, let's find out on the phone. I'm gonna pull up Google Maps really quick. To find out where we need to go, where we wanna go. Probably somewhere back in the river or something like that, I don't know. So we got some boat weight coming. And I just wanna see if I can stand up in it. Oh yeah, this Bonafide is something else, I'm telling you guys. Well, the wind is turning me a different direction, but I'm standing in boat wake right now. and. Like there's no issue, no issue at all. Wow, it's like eight inches deep right here. Okay, got some serious boat traffic today. 
I'm gonna tell you guys what though, if I was in that other kayak, my old one, I would be freaking out right now. I mean, granted, it's only like two feet deep right here, but still like, I, you know, I, there's no way I could be in all this wake right here, especially that big sport fisher right there. When that wake hits, like there's no way. I'm actually gonna stand up again in that wake because I know that's gonna be big wake. I'm gonna see if you could stand up. I'm only taking this chance right now, literally because it's two feet deep. Like it's, and the, the water's clear so I can see like everything. So, all right, let's stand up. All right, we're standing up. Oh, we got the big wake coming. You gotta prepare for this, guys. You gotta get a wide stance. Where are my football players at? Where are my running backs? Oh, I'm about to be beached if I don't watch out. All right, so this is the wake right here. Oh yeah, guys, no issue. No issue at all. I don't know how good you guys can see this wake. That's no issue whatsoever. Wow. This kayak is so freaking stable. All right, for real, for real, for real. I gotta I got quit messing around. I just love how stable this kayak is. I gotta quit messing around. I gotta get across here because if I don't, uh, it's boat traffic. It's just gonna keep coming. So I gotta shoot across this right here. I'm gonna hit this inlet. All right, we had to beach up really quick because what I'm gonna do is I'm in these mangroves right now. It's low tide, so during the high tide, the water actually comes up to the bottom of these mangroves and all these snook and tarpon and all that kind of good stuff love to hang out up here. Clearly not right now because it's low tide, so so that's not not really what we were looking for. We kind of wanted some high tide, but it's okay. I just saw some fish as I pulled up right here. I'm gonna tie those DOA shrimps on really quick and then later this evening, I got me a, a spook that I'm gonna throw in. And I think, I think that might just be that might just cut it. That might just do the job. 30 minutes later, we're good. I think, I hope, I hope we're good. <gasps> guys, I forgot to tell you. Okay, look, a couple videos ago I asked, I asked all of you guys, what should I name the new kayak? Believe it or not, I got a lot of suggestions to include my mother that said name it Bonnie for Bonafide. Name her Bonnie. So, ladies and gentlemen, you are now looking at the USS Bonnie. So that's gonna be her name. I'm gonna get some kind of, I might spray paint on the side of it like USS Bonnie or SS Bonnie, whatever, whatever. I don't know. We're gonna figure something out like that, but Bonnie is her name. That's what we decided to name her. There was like 15 people that sent in that name suggestion, which I really dig that. I like that, that's a good name. All right, so what I'm doing now is the water's super clear here. You guys could probably look down. Well, you can't look down, but you guys can see the bottom from here. It's six inches deep. Basically, I am sight fishing. Yeah, I might even bottom out up here. Oh man, there's a school of fish right there. What is that? There's a fish. Well, I just rolled over a bunch of fish. I don't know what they were though. They kind of like trout, if I'm being honest. Paddle up a little bit more. There are literally fish jumping out of the water over here there's that backlash colin was talking about i don't know how this happened colin look at this this water is freaking so warm 100 percent low tide right now but i gotta i literally just gotta get this backlash there we go gotta get this out in all honesty i may just cut this Yep, I was wanting to catch a fish on this, but I can't get the, the freaking wasp nest out of it. So I'm just gonna cut it and I'll just retie, re freaking, dang it, man. Oh, I'll just reef spool the whole reel. All right, we're in one of these like ocean canal type deals right now. Let's see if we can get something on the old, the old trap. The old rattle trap. Wonder how deep, let's see. It is about six feet deep right here. Cool. It's good to know. All right, I'm gonna make a move really quick. I'm gonna go over to these docks that me and Colin and his dad were at the other day. I'm gonna just see, I mean, I know there were, you know, 30 and 40 pound jack over there. Clearly I don't have the tackle to uh, be able to catch something like that, but 
where there are big fish, there are small fish. So I'm gonna go see if I can hook into something and hopefully it's something that my, my reel and rod can barely handle because I'm trying to I'm trying to catch something, something good, something decent. I wish you guys could see how pretty and just blue and clear. I'll try to show you, hang on. I don't know if you guys can see that because I'm like looking through the the coast is right now, but man, this water is so, but water is super, super clear and super pretty, but this current is so strong. It was low tide and I think the tide is coming in. So I'm literally, and it's not, it's, it's not even windy. It's just the current is taking me. Like I can barely, barely paddle against the current. So I think this is as far up the river as I'm gonna paddle. Uh, I may just stick around right here for a little bit, throw uh, throw what I got, throw some shrimp, some live target and whatnot. Just see what we can come up with because this current is crazy strong. I mean, insane. One thing that I did not take into account was the freaking current. I'm about to pull up to this dock real quick and tie off. Hopefully I'll get, get in trouble. I don't think I will, but you know, guys, I don't know if I should have went to the gym before I came out here. I'm freaking smoked. This thing has done so good. This kayak has done so good in this water with boat traffic, the wind, up until now, the current. The current definitely was not playing a factor four hours ago when I first got out here on the water, but what an awesome day, man. Well, let's just see if they yell at me. Hopefully they don't. All right, we're gonna switch it up. The old uh, rattle trap's not working. So I'm gonna tie the shrimp back on that I had earlier and hopefully, hopefully that works. No matter if you catch fish or not, you always come out and you learn something new. And I learned today that the current will take a toll on kayak fishing. So you gotta learn to plan around that. Oh, 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 we got something looking at her. Oh, hi. Just come out of nowhere. I hooked your buddy the other day, actually. <gasps> oh my God, that was a, what is that? Oh, that's a jack, dude. There's absolutely no way. Dude, that thing would have freaking broke me off so quick. All right, yeah, gang. We're at the last spot for today, I believe. I'm at a bridge right now. I haven't got a bite all day, but learned some lessons. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna move, we're gonna go fish that over there because I don't think anybody can fish that. And then we're gonna go back to that little canal really quick because we gotta start heading back to the truck. We got a long paddle. And I mean a long paddle. It's so pretty though, it's so pretty, so relaxing. It's nice, this place is really nice. Looking down in the water, I don't see no fish. Oh yeah, we got a breeze at our back now. Pfft, too easy. I'm gonna tell you guys what, with the wind at my back, oh, it's a whole nother ball game. It's a whole other ball game. It's easy. And the water is so freaking clear. I wish I had my other GoPro so I could dunk it down underwater and show you just how clear this water is. It's like pool water. Oh, let's see what we got. Nothing. Boats prohibited south of dock. Okay. Sick. That's so nice of them. Oh. Oh, we're hooked up. Let's go. What do we got? Oh, let's go, boys. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let me spin this bad boy around. Let's freaking go. I got a freaking jack. This is the first jack I've ever caught. How freaking awesome is that? And I did it on this spook right here, right? So I'm getting ready to leave. I just told you guys when I was under that bridge, I was like, ah, you know, I'm gonna wrap it up, call it a day basically. And I was fixing to paddle back, but I saw this and I was like, nah, man, I gotta give this a shot. And then I saw it over there, it said open to the public. I was like, yeah, definitely gotta give this a shot. But how freaking cool, oh my God, let's go. Let's freaking go. That's why you don't quit. That's why you don't stop. To a lot of people, this may not mean much because it's a small fish, but to me, it means the world. That is so freaking awesome. Like I've put in work today. There you go. You got it, buddy. That was awesome. That means that fish means a lot to me. I've been out here grinding and I mean grinding all freaking day. Oh my God. That fish, oh, that fish saved, literally saved some major heartache. Like I feel so good now. Like I was so bummed at first, guys. I don't know if you could hear it in my voice, but I was bummed out. I have 
paddled probably six miles against the wind in the current and man all right we gotta go <laughs> we gotta wrap this up i got such a long paddle back check out how i tied myself off guys y'all like that this is my bungee cord tie me to whatever thing these are the mangroves right here this is what the snook like to hang out in i just haven't caught one yet i haven't seen one i think well i think i seen one earlier today but it's probably like a, a 20 incher but the water was kind of i'm closer to the inlet right now the water's a lot cleaner but where i was at it was it was the opposite of that it was like back in the rivers and it was like two foot deep two or three foot and seen him swim under the kayak but man i am so freaking happy that i caught that fish number one that was a brand new fish off the list did it all by myself come out here in the kayak grind struggle struggle grind and we made it happen like i said though that fish might not mean a lot to uh to most people or a lot of you watching but to me that fish that it means a lot it's crazy how a fish you know this big can mean so much but that was that was cool i'll never forget this day that was awesome the bona fide prevails in salt water i've got a long paddle back and i will catch you guys as soon as soon as i get back to the truck all right guys we are back at the boat ramp behind me got her loaded up now we got to take her home spray her off real good real real good we don't want nothing in there that's metal or aluminum or, or whatever the case is we don't want nothing in there getting rusty so i'm gonna take her home i'm gonna clean her up real good i gotta clean up like little things like this that i use today that are soaked because let me tell you that wind was a whipping on the way back and straight into my face so anyways with all that being said guys thank you for tuning in i greatly appreciate it as always I, when i say that i mean it i seriously do appreciate you all uh i know i only caught one fish but it was a jack that's another fish off the bucket list right another fish off the bucket list and it was literally the last second like clutch fish which is i mean it don't get no better than that that was freaking awesome but anyways thank you again for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already go ahead and thumb punch that red subscribe button all right turn that notification bell on you already know why get notified every time i upload a video anyways thanks again for watching guys we'll catch y'all next time <laughs>